Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Do So Knits YouTube channel. Thank you for joining me today. Today's video is just a little bit of a vlog showing you a little peek into my life and a little unboxing as well. I wanted to show you guys this week a package that I received from a homespun house. It is her Cozy Comfort Huga box. A homespun house curates these boxes with lots of independent makers and then sends them to you as a little bundle of Huga to your doorstep. So in this box, the first thing we received are some pottery from Monty Potts. I had received some of these in another package from a homespun house and I absolutely love this pottery. In this month's package, we received two little ramekins with some details on them as well. Overall, I think these little cups are absolutely adorable. The little leaf details on them are so cute and the warming feeling from the pottery is just amazing. The next thing in the box was a package from Joka Kutzen, which is a candle maker from Germany. These candles are 100% soy based and there is a nice cotton wick candle in them as well. And the jar is a nice glass candle that can actually be refilled from Yoha. And this flavor I got was wood smoke and vanilla. And I'll let you know it smells amazing. In her Huga boxes, she always includes a some type of publication as well. And this month it was a little different, but still super exciting. It is the My Knitting Notes, produced by Lina Magazine. So this book is bound absolutely gorgeously, and inside you have pages for your projects with the names of the designers, yarns, etc. In the back, you can track your various yarn purchases and where you got them from and the date and along with some grid craft paper as well. And at the front, there's a nice little touch of who this journal belongs to, along with some beautiful stickers from a homespun house that you could use in many different places and throughout your journal. Finally, there were two more bags from a homespun house, and these are in her stamped canvas. And the one has lots of small little goodies in it. First is a postcard from them. And then inside a bunch of little goodies. There's some washi tape in some fun, vibrant colors and a always needed measuring tape. Then a very cute, I knit past my bedtime, pin with a little cat knitting and some beautiful embroidery scissors that can fit in any project bag. And then finally some little sticky pads to use throughout your journal or in whatever you need to take notes. And then a tiny little box with some beautiful washi tape. Inside is a little stitch marker with so much detail, a little hot chocolate on a book with some chocolate with it as well. I'm excited to start using this very soon. And then finally, we have a large canvas bag with some yarn inside. So this is yarn from a homespun house. It is her 10 gram 10 mini skein collection. 
all these colors are amazing, the speckling, and they just feel so plump and lovely to run through my hands and show you guys. Overall, this box is just an amazing creation of goodies that there's so much value you can use in your daily life, and I'm so excited to start using all of this. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope you've got a little bit of hygge wherever you are. I wanted to put a little clip for you guys of Sherlock playing with his toy. He doesn't necessarily play, more so uh, just grabs it until you give up. And then I really spent the rest of the day, we went on a walk, did a little bit of knitting while listening to my newest audio book. I've been really enjoying this. It's called Playing Nice by J.P. Delaney. And then I started a new sweater cast on with some really fabulous yarn. It's in a cotton alpaca blend and I'm very excited to show this to you guys in a little more detail on the next podcast episode. It'll be a striped sweater with gray and large blue stripes. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you can put a little bit of love into every stitch, and I'll see you guys again very soon.